Well, hello everyone. So welcome to this uh, uh, series of video tu uh, tutorials uh, where we are going to go through the Abacus Finite Element software, how to use it and the different options to construct your finite element model and run finite element analysis and visualize the results. The tutorial, uh, we are going to go through a number of uh, smaller uh, we'll break it down into a number of smaller videos we are going to use uh, an example to learn uh, abacus uh, in this example we will be trying to model a uh, steel beam to column uh, sub assembly with bolts and everything and we were going to apply loads on this sub assembly and uh, visualize the results so there is a hierarchy with respect to how we define things in Abacus, which is, I guess, uh, also very similar uh, if you are dealing with structure analysis or uh, finite element analysis in any type of software. So there is some kind of hierarchy. So this is basically we go through a number of modules uh, in Abacus. Uh, at first, we there is the parts module. We are going to see this through the interface uh, uh, in the next video right away. So there is the parts module. This is where you define the geometry. There is the property module where you define the materials and the cross sections. Uh, there is the assembly module where you define uh, pretty much where you add your parts that you defined earlier. You assemble them together like you position them uh, in relation to each other. So this is when you have like multiple parts. And then there is the step module. This is where you define the type of analysis you are conducting. Are you doing dynamic analysis? Are you doing static analysis or buckling analysis or thermal analysis and so on? And what are the parameters of this analysis? And then there is the interaction module. So this is uh, again to define things like interactions between different parts, how different parts interact with each other. You define like some constraints like uh, rigid bodies, tie constraints, and so on. And then finally, you or before you submit the model, you have to do the meshing module. So this is where you define the mesh type, uh, the mesh element type, and the size of the meshing, and the, the way your mesh looks. And then you, the actual uh, job uh, module, this is where you define your job, uh, run it, and check uh, the analysis steps while it's running to make sure that everything is correct, that you don't have any problems in the model. And finally, after you conclude your job, of course, this is the visualization module. So this is where you visualize the output, look at uh, displacement, strains, stress contours, plot uh, some figures, uh, or create some videos or take some pictures and so on. So. Uh, this is the example that we are going to go through. So this is a very uh, a basic example, but it will help us go through uh, several uh, uh, features of uh, Abacus. So here we have like a column with a fixed base that's one and a half meter long. And this column has some kind of uh, constant axial load at the top. And uh, there is a cantilever a beam like half a meter uh, eye shaped beam coming like this with uh, some displacement that we are going to apply monotonically at uh, the end of this beam and the beam is welded to an end plate and the end plate is bolted to the column flange so this is your typical uh, end plate uh, steel uh, beam to column connection uh, these are the geometric parameters that we are going to consider for uh, our problem. So this is the column uh, cross-section, this is the beam cross-section, this is the end plate uh, cross-section, and this is the bolt uh, dimensions. Uh, for the for the column, uh, this is what we I'm showing over here. So the column just to cover different uh, options again in uh, in abacus we are going to model the column using solid elements well everything we are going to model as solid elements pretty much excluding the beam so just to learn how to do this we are going to model the beam using shell elements 
we're going to see the difference here when we are modeling this in Abacus. So basically, when you model a solid part, you sketch the solid or the section outline, and then you extrude it in the 3D space. When you are modeling a shell part, you just model, uh, you sketch the section center line, so just lines, and then you are going to assign to those lines some kind of thickness. Uh, this is the material uh, that we are going to consider again a simple uh, bilinear uh, ma uh, material with a hardening branch and these are the parameters of this material so this is a typical uh, steel material like S355 similar to the one used in Europe mostly so with that uh, with the problem being uh, have been described right now so now we are going to go through uh, abacus and go through the definition or how do we define our problem starting with the parts module or the definition of geometry so see you in the next video